Hey, H12. Hey. Hey, buddy. I'm making a video. Okay. How you doing? Good. So let's see what we got. I got high voltage in a cell. <laughs> Okay, let me let me wire wire everything up. All right, I'll just take an overview while you do that. I had a, had a mishap, so I, I can only take it to where it charges it now. Okay, here's some of the. I, I fried this transformer last night. Oh, I've done it many times. I know the feeling. Okay, I'm set. All right. Okay, come. You can get the waveform first. Okay. This is this is most important. We will do it. And uh, this is my. PGN, that's that's what controls it. Okay. And I'm going to that's uh, but that's Bussy's, right? Yes. Bussy's PGN. Okay. Okay. Let me see. Why isn't it working? No voltage over here. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's on the fan. This goes this. It happens. Trust me. Not to me. <laughs> Not, not like this. I've been working it all day and it off on demand. Let me see. It's all good. It is all good. Look at this cool box. This is nice. Very nice. There we go. Now I hear it running. I had to restart. It's all good. I see there. I'm already at 45 volts, 0.1 amps. Seven. So it, it'll climb on its own. It takes it a little, little bit to charge. It'll climb on its own. But this is what I was uh, trying to tell you. It's not an uh, AC waveform because it's a diode. It's a charger. It's a diode. Like I said, when I'm done with you today, you're gonna know how this works. I can guarantee it. That's, that's my mission. Sounds good. Okay, now I'll take it out to 65 volt input, 75 volt input. And here I'll let it rest and let it charge. It'll go over 2000 on its own and then I'll start charging it again. And right about 2000, this guy starts to kick in. It's, now I gotta let it kiss. It's going up, now it's, it's going over 2000. It's already charged. It starts to kick off. And then I can go ahead and take it all take it all the way up. I can only go up to 120 volts because we're because both of them blew one blew out. It's putting too much strain on the thing and I, I fried one already. Okay, there's that 122 volts in half an amp. I say tell those people who say you can't you can, can't put high voltage to a cell. Yes, you can. <laughs> you can put the scope's not gonna lie. Now, but like I say because I can't, but can't get both cells going on. I can't get it to drive it, but it will produce ozone. You will smell fresh, smelling air coming out of there. Okay, this I came, I came just so I can try to like see. We had, we had a mishap. That happened. I just got this wire Saturday, and I found it. <laughs> I know, I know the feeling. So, so you're applying. Let's see, your power is going into your, into here, and you're using a pulse gen to pulse. Yes. This is okay. Uh, the switch. Okay, just the switch. Yeah. It's potential for you. Right, right. And this is the um, pulse gen, right? This is the pulse gen. <laughs> oh, this, oh, oh. This yeah, yeah, the chip. Yeah, right. Well, that's chip? that's the one I'm looking at there. Yes, exactly. Is this just a breakout board? What? Is this a breakout board? Yes, it's uh, for, for, for the piping, for, for uh, connecting LCD, okay. or for connecting several channels. Okay. And this is the, the feedback amplification of the... Um, okay. And Bussy? Hi, this is Bussy. This is Bussy. Hi, Bussy. <laughs> nice to meet you. Met you yesterday. It was nice to see you again. Okay, now it's starting to charge. We're going over 3K every so often. Again, the charge. The more I leave it on, it'll go up to like this, close to 4K. So you're running on one transformer? Yes. Okay. I can I, I blew up the other one, unfortunately. Done still, I've still, done that many of times. I'm still learning because I had to learn how wire hooked up. And now you can bits. Now you can see why why this uh, timing precision is so important. You can exactly give a frequency with a number of pulses. It's always five pulses, and then you have 
very, very exact ways to, to, to control the, the gating time. It's right. to the one hundredth of a microsecond. So it's really, really exact. The, the, the smallest time frame is 80 nanoseconds. Okay. So there's very many ways of variations. Cool, cool. This for everybody to understand you. Yep. This is the proper way to view Mario's technology. You view it as a capacitor only. This capacitor is a charge dock. This capacitor, in order for it to work, must be greater than this capacitor, or it don't work. You'll get this waveform only negative, because it, the positive is the one that has to charge. So it must be greater. That's where my that's it covered in section seven and eight. Eight, he actually tells you what it does. He says it, you know, it, it goes over the stages. The stage that everyone misses, it goes directly from a liquid to a gas ionization stage. Liquid to ionized gas. Well, everything works on ionization. It's just the same as air. No different. I air agree. ionizer, this, if you're, once you change the medium, now you have a conductive fluid this is going to force that same conditions you got when you're in the air onto the water. That's it. You know, it's just ionizing the atoms. Not the molecule, it bypasses the water molecule and ionizes the atoms. It's getting to going now. Yep. It's starting, we're up to 3,000. What, what will it climb to with one coil connected? Um, I, is I the voltage? Turn, I, I keep turning it off. Is the voltage the same with two coils? With two coils, no, it, it'll, it'll go higher because I'm, I'm putting more of a capacitive dump on it. Is that? We, we didn't get a chance to try it out, unfortunately. Are those parallel series parallel. configuration? Because I say, in, if you again look at this one, if you want this one to be bigger, what do you do? You add another one in parallel. You want more? You add another one because my remember Meyer used nine, nine of those C cores. No one could, by the time Diodon got to it, it was in a box. So yeah, he didn't, yeah that's you know, for sure. He, he, he couldn't, he, he Pile couldn't of tell. stuff. But then you can look at his Myers water fuel cell and only had two wires. So therefore, he had to hook them up in parallel. Again, just following this, if this is not big greater, then it, it, it don't take much energy. You just charge it, let it go, dump it, and that's it. Awesome. Charge it, let it go, dump it. It doesn't take a whole lot of energy. I burned this one out at 1.3 amps. I believe that. Energy. <laughs> you know. Thank you, Ann. Yeah. I'll come back and talk to you more. All right. Like I say, yeah, come back. I, I, I will. I wanna, like I say, when I'm done, you will know what I know.